All right, so this video is about the idol versus the ideal. First of all, I'd like to point out that I don't have any negative motivations. I am celibate for good for the rest of my life for sure. I have no financial motivations. At the rate I'm being harassed with 19 witnesses, I expect to be screened out within a year, perhaps two tops, to be dead, to be killed by fuming, harassing, police violence, gang violence, some, 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 some form of an attack that comes with being targeted and extremely harassed daily and not shutting, not shutting up. So my motivation is simply preparing myself, as is my martial art religion, the true version of the Horus religion of Egypt, the hero, son of God, okay? The Falcon martial arts style, the royal king of kings, Falcon martial arts style. The alpha essence as the essence and the essentials of martial arts, the first thing, the point. That's what's motivating me. No, nobody is standing with me uncontrolled. I'm in this by myself. I'm biracial. I'm part white. I have no racial motivations. I don't care whose race is put above whose after I'm gone, okay, because they're all doing the wrong thing. They may as well all be plugging kids together. What do I care who plugs kids first? This is simply about the truth. With that being said, first let's, let's define idol. You have the doll, like the Barbie doll. It's an I doll. They doll. I as an I, but not me, obviously. They doll. Okay? And the Barbie doll. Okay? People who are desirable in the psychological construct of sexual sadism, scientific racism, basically what might be described as scientific Satanism, evil, okay? Uh, and, and a eugenic base, a sexual sadist system. People are seen as desirable in this system. They're idols. They're confusing you about how you should actually live your life. What they would describe as how you should see things as part of their ill illusion. The ill-gotten gains in the illusion leads to mental illness from generations and everyone else is basically mentally ill and it's provable with a logical universal moral scale because they lack the mental clarity which, when you think about it enough, you realize is the same thing as romantic clarity and moral clarity. They're all the same thing. Different ways of saying the same thing, except for people don't truly grasp what true love actually is. So the idol versus the ideal. The ideal, I, me, lead. Why? Because I'm the ideal man. I'm the only one who's sane. I'm the only one in the divine order. I'm the only one who's moral enough to give the most righteous person who must be the top martial artist because he has focused moral intensity. Is the sun hotter than a lukewarm, than your face when you touch it on the California sand in the summer? And for that same reason, I am more brilliant and potently righteous than anyone else. Focused moral intensity, moral precision, precise moral boundaries they don't have. I am the only fair judge. I am the fair A. It is not emotions, evil emotions that rules me. It is alpha loyalty to God, alpha motions. My deal to allow you to be moral is I lead. I do not submit to evil. Evil must submit to the source, the essence of morality that can only come through me. If you cheat me when you are in the continuity of evil and I'm in the continuity of moral precision as my dad was the most respectable person of his generation in truth with his morally sound brain surgeon path. Who can say otherwise? The fact that he's not a celebrity overkills his point. When you suppress the martial arts systems of the most physically and perhaps spiritually and mentally face fit race, who is famous means nothing. It is a disgrace to be famous. Another way to look at this is the transcendent hero, the ideal, versus the celebrity or the billionaire or the corporate conformist, career-oriented female. Well, we know she's wrong by who she mates. We know whose side she's on. She's on the rich crap capitalist pig, the crony capitalist kleptocratic maniac, the megalomaniac, e egotistical, pompous, pretentious, arrogant capitalist pig. That is her side, regardless of what party she claims to belong to. Team is mate and meat scrambled. When you set the stage 
for the right to get all the guns, to have all the, the most effective applications of martial arts because you make the left a bunch of skinny minority vegans. Meat absolutely factors in. It's also a play on words for meat. Who meets who? Am I allowed to regularly converse with the most attractive corporate women? No. So how she's on my team? She's not. She's not on your team. She's an idol. She's a Barbie doll. She's a childish toy prioritizing, egotistical, selfish, shallow. Shallow is the earth. Beneath the earth spiritually is hell. She goes beyond shallow. She emphasizes dating evil. When you emphasize evil as your, as your scale of who you should date, regardless of how finances factor in, you are more than just shallow. You are evil. She is an evil idol in the sense, if you don't know what I mean, you are sick. If you do and you ignore it, you are sick. If you do and you don't know that you must submit to my moral leadership, you are sick. You are in a world where people are complicit with crimes against humanity. Part is trap backwards. Evil is live backwards. Did I make the English language? Am I making this up? Or are you ignoring it? So you can be complicit with the mass rape, trickery-based rape of the world. The mass drugging, substances, materials in various forms. The mass fuming. Even if it was just abscessos, uh, uh, whatever it's called, you know, uh, toxic con uh, construction materials, vape pens, cigarettes, pollution, all the chemicals in the air, household projects that reduce cognition. We must consider receptivity and favorable responses when we consider if the transcendent hero is greater than the conformist corporate modern woman. We must consider what it means to be insane when you're in the psychological construct and not in reality, which takes morality, which is more reality, morality. When you're in the spirit of the psychological construct, if you will, and not in the spirit of morality, you are insane. Sane as far as being in the psychological construct, which is reinforced by mental health. As soon as you are in the psychological construct and you don't transcend it, which is what the wise does, wisdom is when you have less than all the facts and you do the morally sound thing and you look back at your life and you said, I live a moral life even if it costs me my family. That is wisdom. To look back at life and to have conformed to a trickle-down, scientific, sexual sadist, eugenic, pedophile construct. That is stupidity. And the more educated you are, the more facts you have, the less wise you are, the more stupid you are. That's why to be brilliant isn't the lukewarm mind state of the scientist. It is to be like the sun, to be bright, natural brilliance and wisdom. Shallow materialism can never be greater than spiritual depth. A deeper materialism is just a deeper evil. Life isn't about taking on taking toys with you to the afterlife. It's about achieving a superior state by facing the, 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 the great odds. Persevering with truth. Not propaganda, marketing, false pride, or cultural barrier-derived conceptions of honor. Generational focused moral intensity that ends in 2020 is much greater than the continuity of breeding evil that lasts until 10,020. We must look at the human characteristics, the martial art principles, and compare them to shallowness, childishness, being a psycho, right? 20% of, according to them, 20% of CEOs on record are psychopaths. It's here somewhere. 20% uh, of CEOs 
are psychopaths, according to their own psychology, when psychology, ironically, is the problem. People use psychology in erotic desire. Eros, who prioritized gymnastics and trickery-based sex. Psyche was put into trance. Psyche means soul. They pretend to have a soul in their psychological construct. Eros stole the weapons from Hercules, who's said to be the hero, but he's just another rape cult problem solution, son of a craftsman, son of a bitch, devil. Neurotic and erotic are therefore connected. Shallow, stupid, childish, indifferent, evil, petty, cruel like the deities from Western culture that they channel, like Hera and Hecate. And every deity that is allowed in the rape cult system of Greco-Roman mythology, because it is, it, she is compatible, he or she is, are compatible with the rape cult system itself, which is derived from identifying the most attractive women and putting them in a trance and ma making a social order based on that. And this often includes pederastry turning out little kids. Who should submit to who? He who has the, the martial art principles intact. Not animals, whores, evil, scum, betrayers, demons, rapists, accomplices, cowards, stupid, unwise, shallow, worldly, harlots, dis dishonored, disgraced. Accepting slavery, selfish, indifferent, sociopathic, delusional, narcissistic, hedonistic, greedy, profane, to fake being a pro, profane, depraved, immoral, cruel, simple-minded, short-sighted, bitch, deceptive liars, devilish, whores. These are the anti-Christ, the anti-martial arts principles. Christ is the cross over the cross section. It is the belt that the righteous martial artists are supposed to carry on. I have destroyed the cross. And those corporate groups that someone define as racist, whether they're right or wrong, are the main reasons why. They have insisted on these dishonorable principles as being seen as ideal in a twisted form using psychology and erotic desire to lead fools on their path. I've insisted on the martial arts principles, moral toughness, Moral determination, moral will, moral uh, maturity, moral clarity, moral precision, moral intelligence, precise spiritual and moral conveyance, focus and not circus. You who insist on flexibility, knife throwing, strong men, Playing with snakes, circus activities as being seen as ideal martial arts activities. Circus forms. You who suppress the African martial arts because they expelled you liars. The history of Egypt by itself makes that clear. When you came back to Africa, it was as thieves and liars. Men, the patron of chemists, teaming up with Set. So by default, a, a deity of foreigners, as Set is, of drought, of confusion. Sexual immorality, evil, the principles of evil. No, no belief in God is necessary to know that you are wrong to cheat me out of my right to lead. Only the principles of morality, decency, and good are necessary. You who emerge, every generation having more cognition because you have come from lines that are complicit with the cognitive sabotage of the poor bringing drugs into their neighborhood, disproportionately diagnosing those who insist on morality with mental illness, putting substance in their food, giving them inferior schools so they're more likely to get in fights and could turn to drugs and alcoholism, give them less opportunity so they turn to substances that cause cognitive impairment that have an epigenetic effect. I tell you the truth. The, more, the people who emerge as cognitively or intellectually superior in the future are the lowest forms of filth. And if they were my children, I would execute them because that is the basic decent thing to do, much less the morally precise thing to do, which obviously it is. I don't know what time it is because they messed up my eyes and I, I can't look at the screen. So I probably went over. So I'm going to have to end it here.